Welcome guys to another session on Learn Verilog by Examples. Today the topic is Garage Door Opener. And uh, with that, let's look at the overview. So what we are going to be doing is build a garage door opener state machine. And in this machine, the simple uh, requirements are that you have to control the garage door motor going up or going down. And you could possibly reverse if you're hitting the activate button in the middle, you may have to reverse direction. So now, like I mentioned, there is an activate button, which is usually the button that you push on your garage door. There's two other signals that come into the state machine, whether you have reached the bottom and whether you have reached the top. And they control also the other aspects of this garage door state machine. So when you start with idle, we wake up in going up next. We assume that you're gonna go up. And if you hit the activate button from there, the motor is gonna start pushing you up till it reaches the top and then it waits in the state which says I'm going to go down and if you hit activate it's going to go down and then once it reaches the bottom it's going to wait to go up so that's all this does it keeps bouncing back and forth between going down going up next going up going down next and so on now also there is this activate so if you are going up and you hit the activate it's going to cause the machine to pause and if you hit it again uh, it's going to reverse because you're going down it goes into up next and then starts going up so you have reversed by hitting the activate twice after it was going down had not reached the bottom and so on now for the sake of our demo we're going to be using uh, an artix a735 t board which is readily available on amazon you can buy that for less than a hundred dollars now in that there are there are tricolor leds which we're going to use one of the leds and that led will have a color of red going down green going up and blue is the pause. And one more thing is that we have mapped these uh, three functions, activate, reach bottom and reach top, using the buttons on that board. So uh, with that, let's look at the, um, the code real quick. And um, in this code, uh, what we have is, uh, first of all, there's a state machine and there is this uh, debound circuit. And so the debound circuit is used because uh, you have buttons and when you press the buttons, the buttons can not just go between state one and zero, they might bounce around between one and zero for a while as you make connection or break connection. So we have this debound circuit and right now it counts 20 clicks. And if you're on for 20 or if you're off for 20, then only it latches the incoming signal. So we have that on all the button elements and so for the main state machine, you have this top module and in the top module, you have reset, uh, the, which is the board reset, a clock, uh, four switches, uh, four buttons, and these four LEDs, which are red, green, and blue. And in this case, we are not gonna be using switches. We're gonna use buttons. And like I said before, buttons are gonna be mapped into activate and reach bottom, reach top. And we're going to use LED zero, the RGB LEDs and the zeroth LED to put our status and to control the garage door and to represent that we are actually moving in one direction or the other. Now we set up our states here by using local param, and then we have our state variables defined below, um, and it should be defined here somewhere. There you go. Those are our state variables, and then regarding the uh, some of the housekeeping let's look at that so we have the reset coming in but reset is not synchronized to the clock now keep in mind whether you use the reset asynchronously or synchronously uh, you should make sure that the reset is synchronized to the clock and it's always works out better if you use it asynchronously then it helps with recovery timing if you use synchronously then it just helps um, uh, with timing analysis, static timing analysis of the reset itself. Now, having said that, uh, let's look at, there are some other signals that get flopped and so on, um, but that's not as important. There are these uh, debound signals, the button signals uh, activate bottom reach, bottom top, or top reach. Uh, so we'll skip over that. We'll skip over this main state machine uh, flops but it's very simply state idle and state just latches state next. So the main action doesn't happen here. Um, 
obviously there's these three debound circuits that uh, we have built so that our buttons don't interfere with our state machine randomly and then now here's the heart of the um, code here you you see that there is um, the uh, main state machine which stays in idle uh, at the beginning when the reset happens obviously at reset we go into idle so uh, the state uh, starts in this idle uh, condition and from the idle it goes into the going up next like we showed in the presentation and if you press activate which means the activate debounce uh, circuit would be pressed low and so if we detect a, a falling edge on the um, activate then we go into going up next remember that we assume from idle we assume that we're going to go up because that's the safer thing to do if we don't know which way we are going we're just going to go up um, so with that being said uh, once we go into the going up state there's two possibilities again either you will reach the bottom sorry either you will reach the top in which case the led colors will be turned off or you're going to have another activate in which case you're going to pause and reverse direction so in this case we say going down next and going down next we will color it red which indicates to you that we are uh, going down once you hit active i'm sorry when you get into going down next you will actually have all the leds turned off coming from there and when you hit activate again then it'll start going down it'll be red so the going down state is just like the going up state there's two possibilities um, if you hit activate during the going down then it's going to pause in reverse direction and the pause is showed by this blue led so it's going to reverse and pause but it'll show that you're blue and if you're going down the reverse would be it'll start to go up and if you reach the bottom then the leds are turned off and then finally we have the default state and that takes us back to idle if something were to go wrong we've already covered the debound circuit and so what's remaining here is just you know the output in this case of state machine the output is this led rgb and we flop the led rgb before we put it out so and keep in mind that we only use led zero as that's the only led we care about so that's all there is um, and uh, all this code would be available in uh, bitbucket so you can download it and take a look at it one more thing i want to cover is that since we're going to demo this and not just show it over you know icarus verilog and gtk wave we are actually going to show this in the real board so here's also a file that's provided rt garage.xdc file this is the vivado file that if you want to um, try to build this uh, using free tools um, xilinx has a free version that's out there and if you want to build this then this file can be used it shows you where all the pins go uh, the the rgb leds the slide switches the buttons uh, and the clocks and resets they're all defined here you can pick this file and compile on your readily available artix uh, 35t board now with that let's in the next section let's look at the demo okay guys so welcome to this uh, demo session and in this section we're going to describe how the garage door state machine that we have shown earlier actually works in uh, this board and we have programmed that bit file into this board i just want to show you quickly what the controls are so there are three buttons here that we have used inside our code that we showed earlier this is the button that's the activate the next button is bottoms down which means the garage door has hit the um, absolute bottom of its travel and this is bottom this is the uh, highest point reached button which if you press it indicates that the garage door has traveled all the way up to the top and then we have uh, the leds here and the led would turn green red or blue green indicating you're traveling up red indicating you're traveling down and blue is you're paused in the middle and about reverse direction so with that i think i just also want to show you that there is a reset here and if you hit the reset the state machine should be now defaulted and ready to go up and it should be waiting for us to press activate to go up so if you press this we should see a green color showing that the garage door is traveling up and there you go the garage door is now 
traveling up and the color may be a bit confusing but i can see here the led is green it's traveling up and if we hit this button that says that you've reached the top it should go blank and there you go so the garage door is now at the top now if you hit it one more time it should start going down which should be red and you can see the led is red we can pause the garage door and try to reverse it so if you pause and actually it uh, um, it hit activate twice so it's traveling up now and we are going to hit it so it reaches the top okay it's reached the top now we're going to travel down so red and uh, it seems like uh, i'm hitting it twice and so um the button have this function of debouncing so you may have to uh, make the debounce a little bit um, harder so that you wait for more clock cycles but right now it's in pause state and it's going to reverse and it reverses going up i'm going to reach up and now i'm going to go down and then it's going down now so this time i had to hit it, the button really quickly for it to capture only one event and then it's going down and here it reaches all the way to the bottom and then uh, i'm going to try one more time just to show that it goes up and i can reverse so it's going up and quick button and there it's blue right now uh, and uh, it's waiting to go down if i hit one more time it should go down and so there you go it has reverse direction and will bottom out uh, there you go so that's the demo guys and you can see that we have not only coded the garage door state machine but implemented it uh, on the uh, rdx 35t board that's readily available on amazon and uh, so if you have any questions leave me uh, in the comment section but otherwise the code's available for you to try it out and you can compile it and target this board and see the results yourselves so hopefully you enjoyed this video and if you did give me a thumbs up and uh, do subscribe to my channel i want to bring you more uh, verilog uh, related um, videos that help you design and understand um, various aspects of verilog design and uh, there's also a playlist that i have started and um, do check out the playlist where you might see other videos related to verilog on my uh, youtube uh, site and again thanks for watching and until next time bye bye